Attention, Bicentennial Quarter owners. Hold on to your hats because this dual-dated Washington Quarter minted in Denver was sold for over $8,000 at Heritage Auctions. This coin is a hot item among collectors due to its rare error. Here's what you need to look for. Check that your Bicentennial Quarter has the D mint mark near Mr. Washington's ponytail, indicating it's from the Denver Mint. Grab a magnifying glass and examine the lettering on the front of your quarter for potential die doubling. According to Variety Vista, strong doubling is visible on Liberty, In God We Trust, and The Ribbon. This elusive coin was graded Mint State 66 by PCGS and fetched a whopping $8,400. Believe it or not, if you happen to have a 1984 Lincoln cent with a unique mint error, you could be sitting on thousands of dollars. Uh, let's dive into the details of this fascinating coin. Introducing the 1984 Lincoln cent with a double die obverse graded mint state 68 plus red by PCGS. The Cherry Picker's Guide credits Richard Allen as the discoverer of the 1984 doubled ear cent variety. Not only is Lincoln's ear doubled, but his beard and bow tie also exhibit prominent doubling. While this variety is fairly common in most mint state grades, MS68 plus red coins are exceptionally rare. The coin in question appears virtually flawless, except for a solitary pinpoint tan fleck inside the obverse rim at 730. It also exhibits typical tiny trapped gas bubbles, which are common for this issue. This remarkable coin was sold for an impressive $15,600 at Heritage Auctions. If you're as intrigued by these rare coins as I am, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel for more fascinating insights into the world of valuable coins, and who knows, maybe you'll uncover a hidden treasure in your own collection. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to explore a rare nickel that could potentially earn you thousands of extra dollars at a coin auction. Introducing the 1964 D Jefferson nickel with a repunched mint mark D over D, graded as MS65 plus FS501 by PCGS. The repunching on the D mint mark is clearly visible under a loop, making this a popular variety among cherry pickers. This high-end gem is sharply struck in most areas, although there is slight softness on the steps. A few small marks on Jefferson's cheek limit the grade, but overall it is brilliant and appealing. This remarkable coin was resold for $9,000. If you're enjoying learning about these valuable coins, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Here we have a 1917 D. Lincoln cent in uncirculated red and brown condition. A significant increase in production at the Denver Mint led to compromises in quality, as the dyes were used long after they should have been retired. While circulated examples are common in lower grades, finding XF and AU coins without damage or corrosion is surprisingly difficult. Mint State BN or RB pieces are more attainable, but fully red cents are rare. As was typical for bronze coins, the best struck pieces were the least likely to retain much red color. This attractive specimen with radial iridescence on both sides was graded MS65 red and brown by PCGS and fetched $6,900 at Heritage Auctions. If you're enjoying learning about these fascinating coins, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more numismatic insights. Here we have a 1954 D Washington Quarter in Mint State 67 plus. The economic prosperity of the early Eisenhower years is evident in the large production of 1954 D quarter dollars. Typical of Denver Mint coins from this decade, 1954 D quarters were well made but suffer from numerous tiny marks that limit the number of pieces certified above MS-66. Like many of the Denver Mint coins of this era, marks and rough surfaces are common issues. Truly superb gems like this one are quite rare. Near-perfect surfaces are a necessary requirement for this lofty grade, and attractive toning adds to the visual allure of this piece. Liberal splashes of olive green, golden brown, and bright red appear on the obverse. Though not as pronounced, the toning on the reverse includes shades of ice blue and golden brown, plus a few small areas of various shades of red. This remarkable coin was sold for $9,000. If you're enjoying learning about these rare coins, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more fascinating numismatic content. Introducing the stunning 1957 Lincoln Cent in Mint State 67+. Plus.
While many coins from the 1950s are fairly common in pristine condition, the 1957 P cent becomes scarce at the MS67 RD level. This rarity is due in part to imperfections like fly specks and toning streaks. Despite its high mintage, this coin stands out for its unique characteristics. One notable feature is the use of a stubby numeral 7, deviating from the standard design. Varieties for this date are minimal, making this superb gem red example a rare find, especially with the PCGS Plus designation. The coin's luster is exceptional, showcasing vibrant copper orange and rose red hues without any spotting. Its sharp strike adds to its allure. This remarkable coin was sold for $9,300, highlighting its value and desirability among collectors. The 1912 S cent boasts an incredibly low mintage for a 20th century coin, making it a rarity across all grades and a true gem in fully red condition. Even in the higher circulated grades of VFAU, examples are seldom encountered, with most lower grade pieces showing signs of damage or corrosion. As far back as the late 1930s, collectors were already facing great difficulty in finding this issue in circulation. Despite this scarcity, well-struck 1912S cents can still be found in mint state condition, as evidenced by the illustrated example. Due to the reuse of dyes in subsequent years until they wore out, the reverse of the 1912S cent often exhibits heavy dye erosion. However, this particular coin showcases its original red surfaces with remarkable clarity. The 1912S is considered a collectible issue up to the MS65 level, but specimens in MS66 are extremely rare. This premium gem specimen features sharp definition on all design elements and retains its lustrous, appealing red surfaces in impeccable condition. A stunning MS66 red specimen like this was sold for $10,200, highlighting its desirability and value among collectors. In conclusion, Exploring the world of rare U.S. coins that are worth money can be a fascinating and rewarding journey. Each coin tells a unique story, reflecting a piece of American history and numismatic heritage. From the 1957 Lincoln cent with its unique features, to the scarce 1912 S cent and the valuable 1941 D wartime nickel, these coins are not just pieces of metal, but artifacts that connect us to the past. Um, as collectors and enthusiasts, it's important to continue sharing our knowledge and passion for numismatics. By engaging with each other through likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions, we can build a vibrant community that celebrates these treasures. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends who might also find it fascinating. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions about these coins. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on rare U.S. coins and numismatic discoveries. Thank you for watching, and God willing, see you in the next video.